Hey, this is Greg Shields, and you found another of my courses in this learning path on VMware Horizon 7, this time on the installation and initial configuration tasks that assemble together its large array of constituent components. I am Author Evangelist and a full-time author here at Pluralsight, and I've been working with VMware's solutions since the days that virtual machines were nearly always just servers. VMware improves on an existing and solid foundation in this release of Horizon 7, adding rapid deployment features in its instant clone technology, a new Blast Extreme protocol, along with significant improvements to the client experience and platform technologies. This one's going to be good. But before we dig deeply into the actual virtual machines and applications we'll be delivering to users, we've got to get this environment built. That's our task in this course, installing, configuring, and integrating the many and sometimes confusing components that make up a Horizon 7 infrastructure. In this course, we'll step through those install and config tasks for our connection and composer servers on the inside LAN, as well as the security server and access point appliances out in the DMZ. All this will prepare us for actually using this enterprise product as we later build and deploy virtual desktops and applications. If you've just been tasked with installing and configuring a Horizon 7 environment in your organization, this course is your first stop in brushing up on those skills for success. And then from here, you'll be ready to continue on the learning path as you create and configure pools, configure user environment manager, app volumes, VMware Mirage identity manager, and vRealize operations. Let's get started.